With hyperglycemia, there is physiological, respiratory, gastrointestinal, as well as non-specific signs and symptoms that one needs to look for. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. We looked at what hypoglycemia feels like. We looked at how it can impact your emotions as well as behaviors. And I also shared with you a little bit about the emotions that I experience when I do have hypoglycemia. Even though I'm not diabetic, I do have episodes of hypoglycemia at times. So this week we're going to look at what hyperglycemia feels like. And if you do not know what hyperglycemia means, it is simply high blood sugars. So as a certified diabetes educator, it is my role to educate my patients as well as my clients on different signs and symptoms that they may need to look out for if they are experiencing hyperglycemia. I remember uh, various patients that I would speak to, um, I would educate them on, okay, if you have hyperglycemia, this, this, and this may occur. And a lot of them have told me that they have had episodes of hyperglycemia, but before speaking to me, they didn't know that these were classical signs and symptoms. So let's just jump right into it, and let's look at what hyperglycemia or high blood sugar feels like. With hyperglycemia, there is physiological, respiratory, gastrointestinal, as well as non-specific signs and symptoms that one needs to look for. So let's start with the physiological signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia. Uh, someone may experience polyuria, which is excessive urination or simply peeing a lot. Uh, someone else may experience polydipsia, which is excessive thirst. You may have blurred vision as well as polyphagia, which is excessive hunger. So these physiological signs and symptoms can all happen at the same time or happen individually. So let's move on to the gastrointestinal manifestations of hyperglycemia. Uh, they include nausea and vomiting, as well as abdominal pain, to name a few. Looking at the respiratory signs and symptoms, someone may have the inability to catch their breath, which can cause them shortness of breath and hyperventilation. And then finally, the nonspecific symptoms include weakness, lethargy, malaise, as well as headache. So as I stated before, all of these different signs and symptoms may happen collectively or they may happen individually in different systems of the body. So this is what hyperglycemia feels like. These are the manifestations. These are the signs and symptoms. Have you ever experienced hyperglycemia before? Has someone you known ever experienced hyperglycemia before? If so, please leave the signs and symptoms that they or yourself have experienced in my comment section below. And also, I have something for you guys. Take a look at this. Hey guys, I also wanted to tell you I have a Mastering Diabetes Accountability program on my website, KimRoseDietitian.com. So basically this program is for individuals with type 1 as well as type 2 diabetes. I let you know the things that you should expect as well as I have two options, an accountability program and an education program. The accountability program, you get one-on-one -on -one nutrition consultations with me and the education program is for individuals that simply want to watch the videos get the material and get the knowledge so check that out so if you haven't already done so please remember to subscribe to this channel as well as share this video thank you for watching bye